Hello. <laughs> I want to talk about the five things that I love about being a young fantasy writer and a young fantasy enthusiast. I love it so much. It's my passion and there are five very distinct things that make me love it so much. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Number one, the, the first thing I love about writing fantasy is gliding on the heights of your personal creativity. <laughs> There's nothing like that moment when you hit writer's high and the story starts telling itself to you and these things that you didn't know that were inside of you just start appearing on the page and these innovations and these critical moments and these sharp turning plot points and it just becomes this this plethora of this energy of creativity that's really really it's impossible to describe unless you've entered into that moment when you're situated within the world that you've spent so long building and then all of a sudden it just starts rolling. The story just starts happening and it's the most incredibly powerful feeling. It's this feeling of flying. It's this feeling of flow that it's difficult to reach but once you're in it it just it makes it makes it all worth it <laughs> the second thing i love so much about fantasy writing and fantasy reading is experiencing other authors creativity there have been so many times when I've been reading another young author's work or another budding writer's work and I've just been like, that's so clever. <laughs> that makes so, that makes me so happy. Other people's creativity is just, it's unbounded and it makes me so happy that this, this world, this, this genre that we exist in affords other people the same feeling that it affords me. It's just this uh, unbounded creativity and it inspires me and it, it pushes me to be better in every way. Fantasy worlds, fantasy books, have they've always been my escape. They've always been a place where I retreated to. I grew up as a, I grew up very isolated. I grew up feeling really, really alone. Um, I was different. Read gay. I was a young gay boy. And it was super, super difficult for me. And the only place that I found any kind of solace was in fantasy worlds, in places that were beyond this world. I think that's why I have such a passion for fantasy writing. It's because it was such a safe place for me. Um, it represented a place where I didn't have to be so tormented. So yeah. <laughs> That's number three. <laughs> the fourth thing that I love about fantasy reading and fantasy writing is the ability for fantasy writing to shift perceptions and present new ways of thinking in a completely unbounded format. Um, so my next point will be about ideologies, but this point is more about individual thinking. And it comes down to shifting the way people perceive the world. That it's, it's not just about creating new worlds, it's about creating new possibilities. And it's about creating things that no one else has thought of, but could potentially just 
completely shift the way you think about the world as a reader. And that's why in my series, Favorite Fantasy Characters, I focus a lot on characters that subvert typical archetypes and narrative arcs and basic plots. The fifth thing that I love so much about fantasy writing and reading, and it's similar to number four, is that it breaks the chain of ideology, um, where in number four I spoke about how it changes, it gives us an ability to change our way of thinking. In this, ex in this instance, I'm talking about the ability for fantasy writing to offer new ways of societal being. Of course we know that we live in a capitalist society and we know that there are models for communism and that there are models for socialism and fascism and tyranny and all of that thing, but fantasy offers us a way to view the world, view ideologies in a completely different way. And not that that will not that that will make us change the world, but perhaps it'll help us think about things in a, in a different way, in a way that might be better. Hmm. So these are probably, uh, these things that I love about fantasy are probably true about most writing genres, writing modes, but I think that fantasy has a lot more freedom than most, both because you don't have to be bound by the laws of science and the laws of nature, and you don't have to be bound by the, the communal understanding of what this reality is. So yeah, it's, it's just an opportunity to not be so run-of-the-mill. <laughs> and I think in every fantasy person, in every fantasy aficionado, in every fantasy enthusiast, there's this desire to to be more than just what this world gives us. And I think that's why, I, that's uh, more than the five things that I've given you, I think that's why I love fantasy the most is because it's, it gives you more, there's, there's more, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching uh, this episode. If you have any input or if you think that your opinions are, like if you have opinions that are different from mine, please comment in, in, the, in the comments below. Hit the like button, subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I update on when I post new videos every week. I'm trying to go for about two to three videos a week. And I also share a lot of opinions and connect with fellow authors on Instagram. So make sure to meet me there.